Hey there, my name's David. On this episode, I'll be talking about why you should be bringing summer hiking gloves with you out on the trail. I think either new hikers or intermediate advanced hikers should be bringing gloves. Usually people right in the middle don't really need them. The reason for this is new hikers are usually grabbing everything because they're scared of everything. And I was there, you know, four and a half years ago, just completely freaked out on the side of a cliff. Oh my God, I'm going to die. So usually new hikers, like brand new hikers are just grabbing everything, especially when you get them out on a ridge or something with some exposure. Advanced hikers get into situations where you're scrambling on rock, on cliff edges, knife edges, going bushwhacking up steep surfaces, where intermediate hikers are usually following trails that don't really have any of that. They're usually just doing class two stuff, maybe class three, but usually it's just class one, class two, which is following trails in the woods and there's no need to really have any gloves. And for more in intermediate advanced hikers, kind of like where I'm at, this is where I have three different types. I'll show you the different reasons why I'd bring these. So I always have one pair of gloves in my bag and that would be a minimum of this one. So this is the lightest one. This is somewhere in the middle and this is definitely the heaviest. These are the thickest gloves and the most rubberized. So where you'd bring these is if you're going bushwhacking, uh, scrambling on scree, something with a lot of rocks that'll come over your hands. Um, anything that like, there'll be a lot of sharp surfaces. If there's gonna be lots of thorns, if you have to go through Devil's Club, if you've ever hiked through that stuff, I took one of those in the face, uh, <laughs> I don't know, a week ago. And uh, so anything that like, there's just a lot of grabbing and you just don't have time to look. Uh, when I was in uh, Pillar Falls, in Idaho, I went down a, a slope there and I slipped. I, was, I wasn't wearing my trail shoes. I was wearing my driving shoes I'd forgotten and to, to switch my shoes. And I had reached out and grabbed a branch and I punctured it. Um, and there was a big thorn on there. I punctured my hand. It just started gushing everywhere. I had to <laughs> bandage it up and I wasn't wearing gloves. Um, so for that reason, anywhere there's a lot of scree, anywhere bushwhacking, that kind of stuff. Um, any, and any also anytime there's ropes, if you have to descend a lot of ropes, uh, if you're local here, Vancouver Island, I have a video on the Horn Lake Hustle. That trail has like nine or 10 ropes you have to descend. And you're basically kind of rappelling down. Um, you burn your hands so easily. I, there's, I've seen so many people post pictures and stuff. They didn't bring gloves and their hands just got like a big burn mark on them. Um, Cause either you have to really slowly repel yourself or people end up sliding once. And I've done that once I slid down a rope. I thought it'd be fine, totally burn your hand. So if you're rappelling down or climbing up chains I would go with this one. This is my favorite. Uh, you'll see this in my angels landing video. Uh, these are new gloves. I actually got these in Walmart and I'll go through where I get these. They're all really cheap. I don't buy expensive stuff, um, but these are kind of in the middle between the two. So these are very heavy and rubberized. Um, they're really thick, so they have a lot of grip. It's like the bottom of your shoe. This one is not quite as sticky. You can rub them together and they still stick. It has a texture on it, but they're a lot lighter. They breathe better. And the main thing about these though, is I, I would bring these, like I said, with chains. But also if I'm doing a class four scramble, something like really death defying, like I don't bring these cause they're too chunky. The, the knobs on them, you can see they're really thick and I need to really feel like any tactile knowledge of where my fingers are on the surface. And that's what these are. These really snug fit on my fingers. And I want to know like where the end of my fingers are pretty, you know, pretty well, like also for chains and just general purpose. I can use these with uh, bushwhacking and stuff in a pinch and definitely um, could definitely puncture through these. You can puncture through these too. I have holes in these, but for the most part, it does save your hands. So these are kind of my general purpose. They also match my backpack, which looks nice on camera. I also bring these ones sometimes if I don't think I need anything. These are a lot thinner, they're lighter. They breathe a lot more on the back. Um, and all these are like rubber dipped gloves. I think they put them in a machine that dips them halfway and then they pull them out. So that's how you get, you know, rubber on one side and it's breathable on the other side. They still have good grip though. So if you have to, you know, in a pinch, oh, there's a scree field you gotta climb up. You didn't bring your gloves or you got your light gloves that you always have in your bag. That's what I do with these. They're always in my bag. Uh, I got this from a dollar store locally for $4. Oh, so these are like two bucks or three bucks. These are four bucks. And I really splurged on these ones. These were $8 from Walmart. Uh, I tried them on, they fit like a glove and they just suit both needs that really, this is what comes with me most of the time. If I don't know, then I just bring these because the only thing is these is they're just a lot heavier and also the tactile grabbing factor that these are just much thinner. So that's my breakdown of hiking gloves. If you want to support my efforts here making hiking content, you can share my videos on your Facebook page. That would be greatly appreciated. Until next one, have a great day.